Come on. I'll take each and every one of you on. I'll take each and every one of you on. You know why I know this? Because I listen to Radiohead. How are you doing? It worked. It worked. Everybody, I lost 50 pounds in the last year. 50 fucking pounds. <laughs> You guys are like, wow, he is still fat. What is wrong with this guy? Wrong. I'm on the Weight Watchers diet. Me and my fiance are on the Weight Watchers diet. Favorite day of the week is cheat day. Cheat day is fucking awesome. You get to eat anything that you want to eat. And we try to one up each other with what we're going to eat that day. I said, let's get chicken fingers. She says, let's eat chocolate. I said, let's have chocolate covered chicken fingers. And she says, let's kill someone. It's fucking scary. One of my favorite places to eat on cheat day is the Olive Garden. Last time I went to the Olive Garden, I ordered something called the Touch of Italy. I thought it was an Italian dish. Turns out they just sent out a small Italian man to fondle you. It's fucking crazy. I was feeling really good about losing all this weight. I was driving down the street. I saw this kid riding his bike in the middle of the road. So I was like, hey, dude, get out of the road. Without a beat, he yells back at me, lick a brownie, fat boy. <laughs> There's no comeback to lick a brownie, fat boy. So I just whacked him with my car. Something else we like to eat is pizza. I live in North Buffalo. There's a pizza place on every fucking corner. Joe's Pizza, Jim's Pizza, Asshole's Pizza. There's a million pizza places. There's this one that just closed, and I can tell why. It was called Mustachio's Pizza. When these assholes got in a room, they're like, let's think of a name for this place. Which one raised their hand and was like, how about facial hair? What's next? Oh, we're gonna open up the Pubes Pub. <laughs> you would so go to the Pubes Pub. <laughs> Where's the Pubes Pub? I see a few uh, hats and shirts. Sabres fans in here. A few, one, a couple. One Sabres fan. I'm kind of excited for the new season. I know it might be a lockout, a lot of garbage. That's balls. And I'm still excited about it. Me and my fiance are talking about it. She said the other day, I can't wait to go, to go downtown to the Marine Midland Arena. <laughs> like, really? Is that what you're going to call it? Maybe on, maybe on the way home we could stop at Hills. <laughs> For a three liter of Surge. <laughs> Surge was great. I watched a lot of the Olympics. I don't know if anybody watched the Olympics. Olympics was great. Uh, uh, China came in second with the medals. They didn't win very many track and field medals, but at least at the end of the day, they could say that they made everyone's shoes. <laughs> oh, they shoes. We're in the, um, the Elmwood Village. This is cool. I used to live in Elmwood Village. I love it out here. Um, the, other, the other week I was out here, something amazing happened. For the first time in my entire life, I got a really a great positive reaction from a fart. It was awesome. It was awesome. I blew this huge fart. It was like, ah. from two blocks away, some kid was like, nice! This place is so great. This is so cool. I work at the casino uh, downtown Niagara Falls. I park cars. Most of the people there are, are quite generous. Some are not so much. And uh, the other day, I got sniffed by a woman with one leg. She had one fucking leg. It was really nice to her. I, I put the wheelchair in the back of her car, and I walked around to show her door. She said, sweetheart, I'll have to catch you next time. And I said, you know what? I hope you lose your other leg. <laughs> I didn't feel so bad about farting in her car after that. <laughs> Nice big fart. 
I did a show a while back for a bunch of old people. These old people fucking hated me. They, they hated me. I could tell they were like a few ladies in the front that were about to start throwing their fake hips and their hard candies at me. It was bad news. And this like little sweet old lady came up to me after the show and she was like, did you really have to use that C word on stage in front of all of these people? And I said, Grandma, I don't know why you have a problem with that word. I mean, you used to have one of those before it fused together with your stomach. <laughs> Oh, man. Super jokes. I just love the front butt. Man, you know you're having a really bad day when you drop the soap in your own shower and get fucked in the ass. That was a really bad day. I don't know if you've ever seen this show on the TV they call I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. This is crazy. I watch this show and I worry. I'm like, man, what if that shit happened to me? I mean, I couldn't be pregnant right now and you know it. I worry because this happens to enough people that they have their own show. It's mind-boggling. And I was like, you know what? What am I going to do if this happened? I was like, oh, man. I'd have to get a C-section. And I was like, you know what? It might not be that bad. Then I could scare the shit out of my kid if he ever pisses me off. I would lift up my shirt, and there would be this gnarly scar right there. I said, Tyler, get the fuck out of here. Now, I would never name my kid Tyler. My name is Tyler, you're an asshole. So that's why I named my kid Tyler in this joke. But I'd say, get the fuck over here. I'd lift up my shirt, I'd have this gnarly scar, I'd say, you came out of this hole, and I can put you right back into it. You see, guys, I got this idea from my own mom growing up, because she actually used to do that to me. Except she didn't get a C-section. Uh, and he told me, I asked him, what did you want for your birthday? He says, oh, don't give me nothing, just give me cash. And you see, I'm not going to make it that easy for you. That's not how I am. I, I'm going to buy him something, okay, and I'm going to put the receipt in it, and so he can bring it back to the cash. There's going to be something he's really embarrassed to return. <laughs> so what I bought him was a five-year-old girl's bathing suit. <laughs> With his name embroidered on the ass. <laughs> and a note that says, Hey, have fun bringing, bringing this back to limited to you, fat piece of shit. <laughs> I, uh, I officially opened uh, a business. I signed the paperwork to, to open a business uh, last week, which is exciting. I, uh, it's not. No, no, no. It's bad. No, it's cool. I'm really excited about it. I opened a business. Funny thing, what happened is the minute. I signed the, corp the official corporation papers, I it instantly turned into an asshole. Just instantly. Just fucking corporations were making fucking assholes. I sell records, I sell vintage uh, vinyl records, and I talk with, with music with a lot of people. And, uh, somebody the other day was like, oh, you're into music? That's cool. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm really into music too. I said, cool, who do you like? He's like, you know, Nickelback and Disturbed. And he goes down. I was like, oh, okay, so you're not into music. <laughs> He said, no, trust me, music is my life. I'm like, oh, you must have a really shitty life. <laughs> I, uh, I was making fun of my brother the other day. He was wearing what I thought was a Lady Gaga t-shirt. And he said, no, Phil, it's actually a Nicki Minaj t-shirt. I said, it's kind of like somebody coming up to you and saying, hey, dude, you got chocolate on your face. And you'd be like, no, no, it's actually shit. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. Have an awesome night. <laughs>